Hello there, my name is Helen Shepherd. I would like to talk to you today about car safety for you and your baby. So for mums travelling in a car, especially when you've got a very large bump, um, you have to abide by the law with regards to the use of seat belts. And the seat belt needs to go between your breasts and over the shoulder blade. The bottom part of the seat belt goes under her lap, under the bump. Therefore, in the event of an accident, the bones of the pelvis and the bones in the shoulder take the impact. If you have an accident or even a sharp shunt in the car, please call your local assessment centre to get checked over, even if the bump is minor. With regards to babies, it is illegal in the UK for a child to be unrestrained in the back of a car. Um, even in emergency services vehicles. The only exception is um, travelling in a taxi, although it is safer if baby is in a car seat. Um, baby won't need to be in a car seat in, um, on a train or other forms of public transport such as buses. Okay, so baby needs to be in an appropriate car seat for their age and weight and height. A newborn needs to be in a group zero car seat. Um, the car seat needs to be rear facing and preferably in the back behind the passenger of the car. If it is necessary for the baby to be in the front, the airbags need to be disabled. Um, you need to purchase a new car seat which has a British safety mark as it has been extensively tested for safety. Do not buy a car seat secondhand from sites such as um, eBay as we cannot be sure that it has not been an accident and has structural damage. Likewise, if you have an accident, please buy a new car seat for exactly the same reason. Please also follow the instructions on installation which will come with the car seat and retrain for future reference. All new cars in the UK have Isofix points which are used with a base and again this needs to be fitted according to the manufacturer's instructions. The baby needs to be restrained using the inbuilt um, safety belts and the baby should be dressed in his or her regular clothes, no coats or thick suits as this will not restrain the baby effectively and it is very dangerous. A blanket can be used to cover the baby if it is cold. The harness then needs to be adjusted and tightened to ensure that the, the harness restrains the baby effectively. Many car seats double as a carrier, but evidence states that the baby should not spend long, long periods of time um, in these car seats. So the usual advice is over two hours. Therefore, if you are on a very, very long journey, you will need to take frequent breaks. Um, take the baby out of the car seat um, and um, give it a bit of a breather. Please ensure that your baby is supervised while in a car seat so he or she does not get too hot and make sure that if you do use a blanket it doesn't ride up and cover the baby's airway. Likewise in the summer months some people put a sheet or a blanket over the top of um, their car seat but please please do not do this. Um, it gets very very hot underneath those, um, those blankets and can actually lead to um, asphyxiation. Again, please ensure that the baby is rear facing whilst he or she is small. That way, in the event of an impact, the seat will take the full force and the seats are designed to protect your precious cargo. Thank you.